Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today I'm going to show you how to make a light switch in Second Life. So let's take a look at the light switch. Here we are in Second Life. It is dark right now. And here's our light switch. So when you switch the light switch, the uh, little uh, lever moves and the lights come on. Switch it again and the lever moves back and the lights go off. So let's see how we made this. Now it's a little different than what we've done before because normally all these prints are connected. In this particular application, we actually have to send messages between the different prim objects. So we send a message to the lights from the light switch telling them to come on or go off. And we'll show you how to do that in this code. First of all, let's say a few things about prims themselves. There's a few rules, and those are prim sizes can be no more than 10 meters and no smaller than 0 .01 meters. Now there's ways around that. You can actually, uh, I'll show you how to do that. If you uh, open up a prim, and bring out a cylinder for example and let's increase that completely to 10 meters and then we're going to flatten it there you go let's flatten it all the way I could actually make that larger than 10 meters by going to uh, object and shearing it so you can see now I've actually uh, used a little trick here to actually make this larger than 10 meters. And uh, you do need to be careful about these tricks because sometimes the way your camera reacts will be differently than using the regular prim size. So just one trick as far as making prims larger than they should be. I typically don't do this. I stick with the uh, 10 meter limit. Okay, so that's an important uh, concept. Uh, right here, linking distance between prims must be 3.5 meters of attached point. We're going to show you what that means real quick here. Like, for example, if I have this light here, let's come around here. The distance that I'm going to need in order for that light switch to talk to that light right there has to be at least 3.5 meters within that distance. So let's go ahead and uh, control shift L, pull this out of here and we're just going to take this light and just move it away and we'll deal with this one light and see now this light here is further than uh, 3.5 meters and I'm going to try to link this. So I'll hit here and I'm going to control excuse me shift and shift and I'm going to try to link these so if I can control L I get this message down here the pieces are too far apart to link so if I want to have a light control that's far away I need to link several items in between that. I could do that by just basically attaching the uh, link switch to a wall and having that light attached to that wall. So there's ways around that. Let's bring the other light back in. So come along here and uh, go get our other light and bring it back. And now uh, you can see it's within 3.5 meters and the other one's within 3.5 meters. So if I link them all together, they'll link now. control L and so everything links together so we're real good and I have my main root code on the uh, switch panel and we'll talk about that in more detail next links objects they're, they're limited to 254 meters so you could have them spread out but if you get beyond 254 you're not going to be able to link them and finally you have an object limit of 31 objects so important things to know when it comes to working with prims and uh, it does come into play over and over again as you try to do different things. So definitely here with a light switch where you're going to put uh, where the uh, prims are not going to be attached to each other so, and you're going to have one on a wall somewhere and the other uh, on a panel, you have to have objects in between them linking that to the final light. So we'll show you how to do all that as we develop this code. So let's go ahead and build this light switch in Second Life and we're going to make your life a little bit easier in Second Life by providing all the code that we're going to use here today on Google Code and that address is code.google.com forward slash p forward slash Second Life Lively Scripts so let's go right there and show you what we have we're providing all the code that we write in our scripts in Second Life free on Google Code for distribution and you can go to our Second Life uh, playlist if you want to see all the tutorials that we are doing in Second Life or click on the light switch tutorial which you're watching now. To get this code just hit downloads and download the word doc to your desktop and go ahead and open that up. So go to my Google code and downloads 
and download the uh, Word doc and here's the doc right here I've already downloaded it on my desktop and you'll see at first uh, general information about params and we've already gone over that in the video and then this Google code address and there's three parts and the first part is the rotor and just go ahead and copy and paste that code onto the rotor device the next part part two is the root prim which is a switch panel go ahead and copy and paste the code below into the switch panel and the last part is a light bulb script part three and go ahead and copy that onto the light bulb and then link all those together and test it out so let's go ahead and do that in second life so now let's go and build our light. So we're going to go to our house and build our light. So let's go over here. And we'll walk into our Duke Energy house right here, which is being flooded with heat and rain and snow. What's going on here? And we're going to build a real simple light on this wall right here. So we're going to right click, edit, and let's bring out a prim. Here's a cube, and we're just going to right uh, control shift and make it smaller and change its size a little bit to turn it into a little panel. This will not be the beautiful version. There we go, and we'll move that panel up right there. And for a light, we're just going to use a sphere. So let's click here and choose sphere and bring that out. And we can actually shrink that a little bit. Control shift and just grab one of the great control handles and shrink it a little bit. And we're going to put it halfway into the wall. There we go. There you go. Kind of like that. And that'll be our light for now. That'll at least demonstrate this, the script that we're going to use so far. So let's go ahead and now we'll just change the texture of that light and we'll make it uh, white. And now let's put some script on here. So go to my Google code and download the script as we've done before. Let's bring up the Word document and let's grab the control switch panel. So that is the main prim. So just copy this code right here. Click on the control panel, the switching panel. Go over here to uh, content and hit new script and we have this old boring script which we'll replace with our script so control V to paste it there's our new script and let's save that and it compiled successfully <clears throat> alright let's minimize that and now let's go get the script for the light and so go back to our word document and here's the light bulb script, so let's go ahead and copy that. And let's copy it and paste it onto the light. So click on the light. Go to contents, uh, hit new script. You can rename this if you'd like and call it light bulb. And double click on it and you should see some old boring script and we'll replace that with the new script. So control V to paste. And now you have, you have your new script in there and let's save that. And we have an error here, so let's see where the error is. Oh, we accidentally left in the old script, so make sure you copy and paste everything. Control V to replace the script. Now that's the new script in there. Let's save that. And it compiles successfully. And now let's test it and see if we have a light working. So we're going to come along here, exile that, let's click on it. And what's happening? We have to link the object so the message can be sent from the control panel to the light. So click on the on the light, go back to edit, click, and now click on the control panel. The last prim that you click on will be your root prim, so let's shift click on that. So now let's control L to link, and now let's test and see what happens. Let's click on the panel, and the light comes on, click again, and the light goes off. So now you've created a light in Second Life, and the next part of this tutorial will show you how to make a switch so it rotors on and off, and you have multiple lights in a room.